Basketball is bigger than the NBA. Basketball is global. Jabari Parker from the corner. What a finish that was. Parker flying to the hoop. Après 9 années en NBA, le deuxième choix de la draft 2014, Jabari Parker est arrivé à Barcelone l'été dernier pour relever un nouveau challenge. Ever since I was young, from when I was watching Olympics, seeing other teams like Spain and Argentina, I knew that no matter what part of stage of my career, I wanted to play at the best level, no matter where I was. I love the EuroLeague. It's very competitive. It's guys who can play basketball the right way, and the environment most importantly stands out. Pour relever ce challenge, Jabari Parker a pu compter sur un garçon qui connaît bien la NBA. My previous teammate, Thomas Sadaraski, he was my teammate in Washington, and a good guy, good, good player. So if he can take his talents to play in Barcelona and play in the EuroLeague, then I definitely needed to be in this situation too. The best thing about him that he really wants to learn, you know, at, at this point of his career, and he really likes Europe, he, he likes Barcelona and Spain, and he's really want to adjust to make the best out of it, and I think the, that's the right mentality. Well, I just want to do what I do best, being able to be put on different areas of the court. But most importantly, it's all about winning. When we win, it takes care of all our problems. And as long as I am a byproduct of our team's success, then I'm happy. Parker s'illustre déjà, s'imposant comme une pièce essentielle de l'attaque du Barça. Sur ses sept premiers matchs, il tourne à 11 points de moyenne, avec une pointe à 20 unités contre l'étoile rouge de Belgrade. I say the NBA and the EuroLeague is like night and day. It kind of reminds me of college, playing here in Europe. Every game is counted for. It can either build you or it can break you. And it like matters when you play in certain tournaments. And for bragging rights, right? Like we not only have a rival in Madrid, but we have rivals everywhere we go. And that's how serious it is. I think every game he's feeling more comfortable. Um, I think he's still finding his way a little bit, figuring out in which ways to be effective, in which ways to impact the game. I don't take this for granted. A lot of people just see me as a guy who made a lot of money, but at the end of the day, I'm just a ghetto kid from the south side of Chicago. So I don't, I don't take my blessings for granted, and I'm enjoying this experience, being able to play in Europe, playing amongst these great fans. I'm here, so this is just more than enough.